in this video we're going to take a look at another way to die uh, the Jack White Alicia Keys song from the movie Quantum of Solace it's hard to think that that's actually uh, 10 years old uh, so I've been meaning to do this for about 10 years uh, or learn this song for about 10 years interesting now uh, YouTube takes you I got asked to do Jack White song the hardest button to button uh, which I'll be looking at tomorrow and that deviated from that and ended up looking at another way to die uh, which is a brilliant song um, starts off we're going it's quite interesting because if you think of bond it was kind of almost similar in that way now we're going from an open bottom e to the third battle open probably bends the second into the third like that if you're a beginner that may be cause a few problems so we're going to stick with the third but if you want to be more authentic by practicing the bends if you listen to the third fret and then bend it and you can hear you can see how far to bend it's a little useful tip um, but we've it's basically open third open fifth of eight again to the seventh it doesn't play it on the guitar but you hear like the horns it's like an E5 power chord there played through uh, that riff played through three times for the intro we had this little piano uh, note on the tab it's four times but it continues on before playing the bottom E string two three five two three five E five power chord and if you listen, it ends up dive bombing down. Then we have open third open. The orchestra comes in on that E5, almost like a volume swell, and then the E chord comes in, and then, which is fairly simple. Then the main part of the song, which is this B5, G5, E5. Sounds very like Nirvana to me, that. Um, which is fairly straightforward. Have this little piano riff. Fourth of G, moving to the third of B. High E string, five four. Fifth of B, fifth of G. Moving to the fourth. So we have. Which is interesting because. Very similar to the original Bond theme. Yeah. We then for the verse go back to our. for the chorus have B5, G5 and A5 that. watch out for on the A5 sometimes you'll see that written out and you could make the mistake of going but it does, it's which is fairly straightforward we then go through that again for like the verse and chorus there's a little piano riff in there which deviates from the original piano riff which is it's 
So you've got instead of starting off with the fourth to the third of B, three, two on the high E, three, two on B, and then our original, which is to watch out for. Later on in the song we hear this and I'll play it through. She's a bit long-winded. <laughs> seventh fret of D to the fifth fret of bottom E. So you got that. Then your main seventh fret of bottom E, moving to the fifth of E, onto the D string five four to the fifth of E. So you got that. Move up with the seventh bottom E. So that first line we're then going to go through that and then which is fairly straightforward the third you do that twice then on the third line Which is the same as before, but then we'll finish on this B5 power chord. Fairly straightforward. Now the only other real part of the song is this the smallest guitar solo uh, that you could have. Sorry. I've seen people do it a number of different ways and for me you hear this rake so I'm touching the, the the G and the D string and bending the 15th up and down on the B string like that and then 15 16 pause Listen to the record on that bit. So all in all, that's all the parts that you need to be able to play another way to die. And as always, thank you for watching.